Hello and welcome to another video. Um, today I decided to kind of post a video response to a, a question that I got to a comment that I posted on one of Eric the Car Guy's videos. I'll post a link down in the description to his video if I remember to do that. But uh, when he was tearing down an engine, I had made the comment that pouring a bit of gasoline into the cylinder head with the valves in place and the spark plugs in it will show you which valves are leaking so that you can know if any of them are bent and need replaced. Uh, someone asked me if I could use water to do the same thing and through previous experience I know that I can't because water tension keeps it from flowing through the valve. Uh, this will also teach you if you need to uh, or tell you if you need to lap your valve seats when you replace valves in the future. But uh, this engine is off of a or this cylinder head is off of a 96 I believe Dodge Neon 420A engine uh, four valves per cylinder, obviously. Um, if I recall, either this one broke a timing belt or the timing tensioner failed. I can't remember which particular one it was. I had both happen. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got water here to show you. You can pour it into the cylinder head, and fill it up. And if the valves are bent, this might not necessarily show it. Well, that one showed it very well. Just poured right out of there. Yeah, you can see these. there's two of them that have, okay, three of them that have really bent valves. You can kind of see it flowing out. Um, actually, all four of them, it looks like, are leaking. Um, this won't always happen. These apparently are very, very, very bent. But um, normally, when your valves aren't bent, to this extent, the uh, seal that they get provides you a problem when you're trying to leak test them like this because the water won't flow through. Water tension will hold it, keep it from flowing out. Like I said, I've had previous experience with this. Um, I got a can of gasoline here. It's, I refilled it from some gasoline that I had in a can. But you can see just how much quicker the gasoline will flow out of the cylinder as opposed to water right on out. Even faster than the water does. Really wish one of these wasn't leaking so I could show you this better and I did uh, hit the valves with a uh, hammer and a bolt to make sure that they were freed and seated as best they could be. Took the rocker arms off you can see this one held the water the longest and it still flows out within a matter of seconds. Um, I was going to do this test with alcohol but I don't actually have any. Isopropyl alcohol is what I was going to do it with. But yeah, as you can see this is an easy way to tell when your valves are bent because you may not be able to necessarily see it. Um, these ones I can in some of them. I believe this one here um, you can kind of see that it's not quite seated, although it's in shadow right now. Uh, but yeah, all of these valves are either needing to have their valve seats lapped or they're bent. This one I'm fairly sure is definitely bent. This one on the right, the, the right hand exhaust valve on that fourth cylinder there. Um, but this should give you an idea of how to test if you're doing a head gasket or anything like that to find out. Uh, if your cylinder head is leaking. A leak down test will obviously show this just as quickly um, if you haven't taken the engine apart yet. This was just something I wanted to do to show you guys that you can test it off the vehicle. Say if you go to a junkyard and buy a cylinder head, uh, ask them if you can do a leak test real quick and bring along a can of gasoline. And just pour it in the cylinders and you can see very quickly whether or not this cylinder head has good compression or not. Obviously this one is totally shot. I hadn't planned on rebuilding this one, I just wanted to show this video. Um, over here I have the bump stick for it. Camshaft. Um, a little note on Dodge Neons. The 95 Dodge Neon, 
apparently has a different grind to the cam than the 96 and up. And uh, I believe it was said that they had a different power curve. They don't have a flat spot like the 96 does. Uh, they idle a little bit rougher, but they accelerate faster because of that different grind in the cam. And then uh, I also wanted to show, these are the intake rockers for this engine. These are where the hydraulic lifters are. This one's not stuck. Oh, sorry. This one isn't stuck. You can see it kind of move. These are the hydraulic adjusters in the rocker arms that deal with valve lash. Oftentimes these will start to stick and that will give you the lifter tick that you notice on these 420A engines. So you can either replace this or take the uh, rocker arm assembly off the engine and try to free them up and that should give you an idea of how to do that because well obviously you just take the valve cover off unbolt those uh, five bolts pull the rocker shaft off take off these bolt carriers like this and then the plastic clips in between slide them off the rocker arm and that's how you can access and change those but uh, like I said this is just a video response somebody wanted to know uh, if they could do a leak down test with water or alcohol and normally water will not flow through a head that's bad this one is particularly bad so uh, yeah the water just pours right through but normally water tension will keep it from or surface tension will keep it from flowing through bent valves if they're not as bad as these are so uh, I hope this answers your question